What's up, you guys? This is Divine Messenger 33, where I get messages from the divine. I give them straight to you guys. So clearing out any energies that will not benefit these messages. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, my ancestors and spirit guides of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel these current messages for Divine Feminine. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages for Divine Feminine. Welcome all my supporters. I appreciate you guys for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all the love, the support, the donations, the bookings, the emails. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support that you show to me in the channel. I appreciate you. And all the other information about me will be down below in the description box. All right, Divine Feminine. All right, Divine Feminine, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what you should know at this time. I am led to pull from this deck first. All right. Let's see. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. <laughs> okay. You got power over this shit. Whatever somebody is trying to do, it ain't going to have no action. Okay? It's not going to have no action. Period. I should have said this card because I was thinking about this card before it came out. Yeah. Whoever this person is, anybody trying to do some shit, it ain't going to have no action. That weak ass shit is going to fizz right the fuck out. Okay? So you ain't got to worry about that. Divine Feminine. <laughs> All right, let's get into the messages. Divine Feminine. Yeah, your intuition is very strong right now, High Priestess. Divine Feminine. Yeah, Material Harvest. Divine Feminine. The Truth. Okay, judgment. One more for Divine Feminine. Triumph is success. Okay, so if there was something, you know, that could have hurt you in a situation, you're going to have triumph and success over that. You will have forward movement. Something to do with travel could be very significant. Something to do with 29, 27, 92, 97, 79, 72. Somebody could have been born on the 7th, the 20th, the 9th, or the 2nd of the month. Okay? So, for some of you guys, your intuition is going to tell you something about your material harvest. Something that, something that you need to do or something that you need to apply to your everyday life is what I just heard. Okay. Yeah, that's what I just heard. To have triumphant success in your situation or to have some kind of forward movement. All right, let's see. What's his intuition for divine feminine? What's his intuition? Knight of Pentacles. Something to do with some hard work. A good investment. Divine Feminine, one more for this intuition. And Knight of Pentacles. Give me one more. Okay, we got Magician and the Four of Wands. Okay. So, for some of you guys, yeah, judgment at the bottom of the day. So, for some of you guys, your intuition is, like I said, something that you need to apply to your routine. Okay, that's going to help you manifest something that you want. This could be like a home. This could be something, an opportunity. It's like your intuition is going to be telling you to do something in order to get something you want. You got Pisces, Virgo, Aries. Okay, strong Virgo, Gemini. Okay. And for what I'm seeing is, it's going to work. It's going to work, Divine Feminine. Okay? 
Something could be slow and steady, but it's going to be successful at the end. It's going to be long lasting success. Okay. Because you shouldn't be concerned about how fast something is coming up. You want long term success. You don't want to go up fast and then fall fast. Okay, if it takes you a little longer, that's okay because something is long lasting. Something is, is going to be with you until the day you leave this realm. And it's going to keep going on even in other realms. So whatever that you're building on is long term success is what I'm hearing. Whatever you're doing on your everyday routine, for some of y'all, this is something that you already are doing on your everyday routine that's causing you to have material harvest. Something to do with affirmations. For some of y'all, you could write and, and write something down every day. You could say something every day. Okay, you could do something to your home every day. It's something that you do every day that's helping protecting you. For some of you guys, you already do this. For others of you, your intuition, if you're having issues, your intuition is going to tell you what to do, what you need to do. I'm hearing on your routine every day in order to get your material harvest like you wanted to. And you're going to have triumphant success with something too. For some of y'all, something could involve herbs as well. Okay. For some of y'all, this could just be affirmation, something that you need to say every day. Something about writing something down. It's like your intuition is going to be telling you what to do to, with something. To help a manifestation is what I'm hearing as well. Like I said, with those signs, specifically a Pisces, a strong Virgo, an Aries, or a Gemini. Okay. What's material harvest for divine feminine? What's material harvest for divine feminine? Queen of Pentacles. All right. One more material harvest for divine feminine. Yeah, high priestess, page of wands. Yeah. For some of you guys, you're going to be working with an older woman. You're going to be led to work with somebody older than you that's going to like spark some kind of idea. Or this is like a, I'm hearing a spirit guide. If this is not an actual woman, this could be like a spirit guide. That's going to give you a download when it comes to a situation here. There's a secret somebody is holding and you're going to get some kind of download about it, Divine Feminine. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Sagittarius, strong Pisces with that energy. Yeah, somebody is holding a secret here and you're going to... You're going to get the download in the situation. Yeah. Something to do, I'm hearing with an older woman. There's a secret about an older woman here. That you're going to receive some kind of like confirmation about. Alright, is what I'm seeing. For some of you guys, this could be an older woman you're going to be working with when it comes to your money. Somebody is going to be giving you some kind of advice about what you should do with your money. For some of y'all, this could be a partnership that you're going into with this older woman. And it's definitely gonna improve your finances. Okay, is what I'm seeing. Definitely. Yeah. This is That's awesome energy with that. So whoever that you're coming together and working with, this older woman here, this person, they the truth. They gonna teach you how to do something here. Okay, this person is very wise, very wise. Okay, for some of y'all, this could be a manager. I'm hearing something about a housekeeper. Okay, or something like that. This housekeeper here, this person is going to give you some kind of like advice to do something. Yeah, and you definitely should take this advice or I'm hearing... This person, you're going to be working with this person to do something. Or I'm hearing their family or something like that. Okay. I heard something about Italian. Italian. Alright. What's, what's this judgment? What's this judgment? Yeah, Ten of Wands. That flipped over. 
Okay, what's this? The Five of Cups. Yeah. For some of you guys, there is some truth that's going to be exposed in a situation. And it may cause some, something... Something has been real heavy on you, Divine Feminine. Okay, let's see. What's this Ten of Wands? Ace of Pentacles. Wow, judgment. Damn, you got judgment here and judgment here. Wow. So for some of you guys, if there was a lot on your plate in a situation and it was damn near almost overflowing... Here your angels go giving you some kind of like new opportunity, a new adventure, okay? Yeah, to bring something back in balance with the judgment, something to do with traveling or something to do with a vehicle. So for some of y'all, this got something to do with a vehicle, something is gonna be settled in a situation. Something is gonna be settled with that. If you need some kind of assistance or something, you're gonna get it, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, if this has something to do with, you know, just a, a extra helping hand because you have a lot on your plate, you got it coming towards you. Yeah, for some of y'all, this is money. This is a new money opportunity. It's going to increase. Okay. Yeah. Something to do with traveling may be significant too. Yeah, this is awesome energy. So if it was weighing heavy on you, I'm hearing there's going to be an end to those like burdens that you've been carrying. All that heavy ass shit. Okay. It's coming to an end is what I'm hearing, Divine Feminine. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. And for that energy specifically, it could be a, a Sagittarius or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. All right, let's see. Divine Feminine. Okay. So I wasn't going to do all that, but okay. <laughs> you got options. Okay. So let's see. You got my way, stubborn, arrogant, selfish, queen bee, period. You got married, a wish come true, divine feminine. You got bisexual, DL, and you have running, okay? So what I'm seeing with this energy, of course, you know this is you, you know what I'm saying? But somebody very stubborn and selfish, this could be somebody on a down, on a down low, or this could be like a down low situation, okay? But for some of y'all, whoever this person is, this person, this stubborn individual, this arrogant individual, they want to come in and marry you. This person feel like that you are a wish come true. That's what they said, Divine Feminine. That's what they said. They said you're a wish come true and they want to marry you, period. This could be somebody you look at as stubborn. Okay. <laughs> For others of you, somebody could be bisexual. All right. Or this could have been a down low situation that, you know, it was just between you and this person. Okay. This person wants to make it official or something like that. Let's see. What's going on with this situation, spirit? What's going on with this? Damn. Ten of Pentacles is what your angel said was going on. <laughs> okay. What else with the situation? What else? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This person, whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they made a bad investment and it was a lot of money too. Okay? It was a bad investment. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody, I'm hearing the charmer got charmed. The charmer got charmed. <laughs> the player got played. Yeah, moon card. Yeah. The player got played into a very bad investment that fucked them up. Or they're about to get into it and it's about to fuck them up. All right. That's what I'm seeing. Wow. 
one more for Divine Feminine. Damn, Three of Pentacles. The Empress. For some of y'all, this person wants to come build with you because they realized something was a bad investment. Something could have cost somebody a whole lot. It did. And this person, they want to come towards you and shit. Yeah. And start something new. Yeah. This magician. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they could be trying to manifest you back in, in your energy. You probably can feel this person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini. This person is like really in your energy. They're trying to manifest you back in. Yeah. This person that had all these options and shit. Yeah. They like, it's an end to that. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Somebody like, it's an end to that. Okay. Something to do with hood could be significant. But some of y'all, this your ex-husband want to come back in and marry your ass. <laughs> this your ex-husband, yo. <laughs> or your ex-fiance, I just heard. That's funny. That's some crazy shit. Yeah, what just came on right now is stupid. <laughs> it's a song called Stupid. Ash Nico <laughs> featuring Young Baby Tate. <laughs> Stupid ass. That's what came out. Stupid boy didn't think I need him. Stupid boy think I need him. That's what <laughs> head wraps. <laughs> Stupid boy think that I need him. <laughs> Woo. Y'all clowning the vibe for me. Y'all clowning. I ain't about to be fucking with y'all. <laughs> she like, I know you think about me in the shower. <laughs> Thinking about this pussy power. <laughs> with your hands in your trousers. <laughs> ah, that's funny as hell. You got death spell down. Remember, okay. Remember when I started off the reading and I said, whatever somebody is doing, it ain't gonna work, Divine Feminine? Ain't that what I did? I started off the reading like that. Sure did. So it's just going to fuck back. That's all. Another person is just gonna, you know, go flat. I mean, that's just what it is. Pregnant. <laughs> Small chest. Left arm tattoo, something to do with six could be significant or a Gemini. Short hair waves, short curly hair, black socks, middle class. Especially with this moon. Like, man, that shit gonna go back so motherfucking fast and it's gonna go so hard, it ain't gonna make no motherfucking sense. Flight, <laughs> Aquarius, new perfume or cologne, C. Somebody could be a cook or a chef. You got truck, club employee. Somebody could have a GMC. Glasses and or contacts. Somebody could be a shorty. All right, hood came out. White socks could be significant. Somebody could love wearing boy shorts. Somebody could have back tattoos. Motorcycle and or dirt bike, fully tatted. Somebody could be in a biker's club or something like that. You have O, light skin tone, long curly hair. I heard something to do with coconut. I heard Corey, cats, or Corley, Corley, professional, stay at home mom. You got rap artists, best sex or love with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. You got colored hair, something to do with B. You got smoked cigarettes. Something to do with a nose piercing. You got no beard. Okay. Somebody could be bald head. You got the M or the W. Something about somebody wearing bows in their hair. All right. Something to do with Bianca could be significant. All right. Something to do with Bora Bora or something like that. Bora. 
I'm gonna do a Cynthia, Becky. I heard Webster or Webby. Okay. That's crazy. Crazy as hell. Any other messages for Divine Feminine? Only take the messages that resonate and leave what does not, okay? So we got CEO out here, okay? CEO, Divine Feminine. So for some of y'all, this is who you could be working with. You could be a CEO or you gonna be working with a CEO, okay? Or something like that, all right? Okay. Any other messages for Divine Feminine? Something to do with a, a church event. I just heard specifically that church event. Or something like that. Okay. Something about a church event. I just heard. Okay. All right, Divine Feminine, I really hope that these messages helped you or gave you some kind of clarity in your situation. All right, like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for the services that I provide. And with that, Divine Feminine, peace and love.